Hello, this is Great MC Gamer, and I'm trying to make as fast as possible video about we have an FPS counter in Windows 10 Edition. It's not official FPS counter; it is made by Nvidia GeForce Experience because first time ever it recognizes Windows 10 Edition as a game, so it shows the FPS. That's kind of awesome. So we are running 90 render distance right now, 90 chunk render distance, and I'm just gonna turn off clouds because everybody hates clouds. There we go, you can see the world much better. And I mean, it's so fast. Windows 10 edition is so fast with the rendering. Can you imagine if Java would ever have this fast world? Generation and rendering. Like, this is, you, you saw, this is brand new world. Completely new. All new chunks and stuff. The FPS will go to about 30, but still. This is like the limit of my GPU, or not, not the absolute limit, but if I am not recording, I would be able to fly around without running out of VRAM, but right now I can only fly around very small amount and then I'm gonna run out of VRAM. So it's not perfect for recording. But it is... We're testing it right now and I'm gonna go through multiple different render distances. Or not multiple, just few render distances like... 32, 40, and... 56. The official maximum that my GPU supports in this game. Kinda of weird why it's so low with I can pump it up to 90 and works just fine. Kinda of interesting that the day that I made I, I sent a message on Twitter to the developers about how the game is no longer lets me have whatever render distance I want. The next update had a thing where it said that they fixed the thing that you can now set whatever render distance you want again. And I was like, ooh, cool, they actually did something. It's almost like they listened to what I say, what I said. They did what I asked. I was able to do things. But yeah, as you can see, the game kind of doesn't render the world at the same time as I'm running, like, running, as I'm flying forward. Like, it tries to, but it just cannot keep up. It, it, it queues up too many chunks to render, and that's probably why I cannot put it officially to 90. Damn, look at that, how it does that. It just loads up random completely random chunks and then it starts filling it up like that perfectly smoothly i have no idea how the code actually works but that looks just so cool so yeah let's try different render distances 50 6 there we go just do tp man go somewhere Far away. So it should now generate completely new chunks. So we can see how fast it is. FPS is a little low, but who cares? It's rendering, it's rendering, it's rendering. And it's almost done, because I can see the fog. The other side. Welcome to the other side. Mm, here we go. Mm, here we go. So oh, there we go. 56, 59, 56 FPS, 59, 57. If we go like this, the FPS actually goes higher because we don't see as many chances. We are like this and up in the air. 
So basically, 56 render distance is perfectly playable with a 60 hertz monitor. With my 240 hertz monitor, it's kind of out of the question. The game does have V-Sync. I had a very pathetic try to remove V-Sync from the game, but it didn't work because it was a pretty pathetic try. But you know, I I tried, I tried so hard, man. But yeah, with 56 render distance, I can actually fly at the same time as it renders chunks. So that, that's great. The game actually works like that. Then we can go lower. 32 render distance. DP minus 40,000. Once again, completely new chunks, but with even lower range distance. But technically, I don't need to load completely new chunks, but I just make sure that nobody says that I didn't load up new chunks every time. So, there we are. We are rendering completely new chunks. And the FPS is 200. The game doesn't go to 240 no matter what render distance I have. It always stays at 200 and below 220. It's kinda annoying. But what can you do? Like it has a FPS limit thing. I've set it to 480 but it seems like it didn't work. And yeah. Also, like I said, it has VSync on. What is annoying that I cannot turn it off. I do not know how to turn it off. I didn't Google how to turn it off, but it, I, I don't know if it would turn off if I Google it. But yeah, we can run the game perfectly fine at 32 random distance. Like expected. Although well, it might be that they have changed something in the code, because I don't think that my testing methods from previous times I've done this stuff. I don't think that my testing methods were flawed. As you can probably remember my... Well, you've probably never seen my videos before, or your previous subscriber, also known as probably one of my friends, is nobody random subscribes unless they're completely random and... Hello. I don't really care about you that much. I guess you get something out of my videos. As you can see, 40 render distance. We drop to the 120. Yeah, 40 render distance, 120 FPS. Would be kinda okay with 144 hertz monitor, but kinda not okay because it doesn't sync up at all. With 240 hertz monitor, it doesn't really matter what FPS you have because you, it, your refresh rate is so fast. Although, if it, if I would be playing competitive shooter and it would have FPS like this, it, it would be unplayable. Minecraft is not very competitive shooter. Although Super Smash Bros is kind of you can take it competitively, whatever, but it doesn't exist on Windows 10 edition. So. Too bad, so sad. Here we have a village. Ooh, it's actually a double village because this is one village and this is second village. They're rivals. But maybe these guys are just. Nobody likes these guys. Poor guys. Yeah, border run distance works perfectly fine. And we can bump it up to 48. Let's see what that's all about. Once again, we'll. TP somewhere. Oh shit. Wait, this is actually an area that we already were at. I'm just gonna TP again the same things. Be fine, then it's gonna be completely new. And then, like I said, it doesn't really need to be completely new. I've actually never seen that before. And it renders the blocks and then it updates the lights. That's, that's the first time I saw that. So yeah, there we go. It's rendering, it's rendering, it's rendering, it's so fast. So fucking fast. I'm sorry for swearing. It's just so fast. It's the best part about Windows 10 Edition. And I cannot wait to get Amplified Worlds in Windows 10 Edition. So we're almost 10 minutes in. And I've, I've now shown how it works in the normal world. 
And next I'm gonna go to my special world. The world download link is on another video. Find the other video about it. It was that Elytra something something Windows 10 something. I don't know. I don't remember what's the name. But yeah, 48 render distance works just fine. Let me quit. And should we go 56 render distance in the other world? Yeah, we should do that. Uh, setting. And actually, while we are at it, let's just delete this. Do, do, do. Oh. Thank you. The lag, the lagger, the world's most beautiful world you can ever have for flying and alive. So, can you load up some chunks? 7 FPS, it tries, it's trying, it's doing its best. Give it some time. It is trying, it's trying, it's trying, come on. You can do it. Probably doesn't like it that I'm spinning. Yeah, there we go. And it loads perfectly fine, because all these chunks have been loaded before. Everything works perfectly. It's such so smooth. Oof. 8 out of 10 apps for that world rendering speed. Come on, under the last ones. You can do it. Don't you, does it like scan it one layer at a time? Top, top to bottom? Like seems like it, and then it just skips all chunks that I don't have in my view. Like it tests every chunk that is in my view and stuff. Yeah, it seems to be running 30 FPS with six in here. So normal world, it's 60 FPS. This world that is supposed to tank your PC, yeah, 30 FPS. It's it's fine for 56 render distance. I don't know how this world works on Xbox. I don't know how this world works with a mobile phone or something like that. So if you do download the world, please tell me in the comments how how the world works for you. So yeah, well, there we go. 50 strand distance. Put it down to 32. This is more like the... If I... When I play... Windows 10 edition, I use 32 render distance. Yeah, it works pretty flawless. You dare to rain on me. Weather clear. And I'm loving that they fixed the things. Like the commands. Did they autofill correctly? Yeah, this is the best world for flying in Elytra. I don't have my mouse settings correct because I need to actually lower my DPI to have the correct mouse speed. So that's a small problem. And you probably don't see much other than just the lava because, I don't know, YouTube likes to make videos darker than they really are. Although I don't know if, it, if that's changed. At least when I look at my own videos, they seem to be just fine, but nobody has complain about having any problems with my videos being dark or anything. Yeah, Windows 10 edition. Fine. 32 run distance in the lagger world, 50 FPS, 60 FPS. When on top of the world, go in the caves and the FPS goes up. Or not. Yeah, it's it's nice, pretty nice. I approve, I approve this this performance. Now that we actually have real numbers instead of taking pictures with a phone camera with a shutter shutter speed of one tenth of a second, and then count count how many pictures they're overlapping. Although 
my method was accurate, and it showed that I had 240 FPS, but for some reason it didn't work, or for some reason this doesn't really show the same FPS as that, so it's kind of weird. Okay, there's these places. Forget about these ones. Yeah, it's completely just all here. But yeah, let's not make the video any longer. So, Windows 10 Edition performance now benchmarked on my computer, and my computer is totally overpowered for Minecraft. So your performance may vary depending on what phone you have, what console you have, what kind of PC hardware you have. You might even have better performance than I do if you have the newer generation Intel CPUs. I have the little older generation of CPUs, so... You can jitter quick that. I do love this world. Love this world a lot. I like this world a lot. It's the best world you have ever seen. I don't actually know, is the. Okay, this seems to be correct, okay. The old biomes are correct in this world, I don't Yeah, I think that's pretty much. Yeah, I was supposed to stop. So let's stop.